Hey girls, I promised you this video quite a while ago, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get it started for you. I finally have a day where I've got my kids outside playing, so hopefully we'll have enough quiet time to get through this. I'm going to try to move through it quick for you um, so that we can just get into exactly how to do this. It's just simple tips on how to get bookings every time. Before we get going, let me show you what I've got going on today. I'm wearing my downtown earrings, gorgeous, the poetic um, necklace. Can you see that? Super pretty. Um, I've got on my Melrose ring, great for the holiday season. My set of three poetic bracelets straight out of our holiday catalog and my caviar. I also have, okay girls, I have to show you. Okay, I was wearing skinny jeans for the first time today. Ah, that's my fashion fear and I conquered it. So excited about that. But I also have this great little leopard print skinny belt on. You see that? Super cute. And the most adorable leopard print shoes. Don't you love those? Okay, back to what's at hand. Bookings every time. Um, I am going to start at the very beginning because there are a lot of little things that we as jewelry ladies do that are going to add up to getting us bookings every time. It's simple things with our business that are going to keep us consistent, that are going to keep us bookings on our calendar. Okay, so bookings every time. First, I'm going to tell you right from the beginning, you need to be on time. You need to be on time for your shows. Don't be late. Um, you need to be on time for delivering hostess packets. If you have set up a time to do that, you need to be on time for phone calls. If you've promised a phone call at a certain time, different things like that. If you tell your hostess that you're going to be there at 630 and her show starts at 7, you need to be there at 630. First, this is going to help you have credibility with your hostess that is going to rebook for you. Um, she will rebook and she will tell her friends that you're awesome and they will book with you. In addition to that, you're going to have plenty of time to have your stuff set up and you're going to be able to meet all of her guests at the door and become friends with them, offering their name tag, asking them questions about themselves so that you can get to know them on a very personal level. So be on time, okay? In addition to that, do whatever it takes to make sure that you have all the little things for your show prepared before you get there. Um, know what jewelry you're going to show before you ever get there. Um, have it set up in a separate tray on the side, ready to go. Have it all ready so that you can focus on meeting guests, befriending guests, and not have to worry about that. Have the little things done. Practice. It's very important, girls. Practice, practice, practice. Practice your show, especially new jewelers and then jewelers who maybe have been out of the game for a while and haven't done a show. Practice before you go. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Practice, practice, practice. Before I ever did my first show, ladies, I think I did my show probably 15 to 20 times, maybe more. It could be more. <laughs> um, and then I went and did my first show. I came back and I practiced maybe 10 more times before my second show because now I knew how people were going to react to what I said and interaction and how it worked. And I practiced, practiced, practiced again. It didn't just magically come and wasn't perfect from the very beginning get-go. I practiced. So practice. I do have to say practice, practice, practice. Practice your booking activity. Make sure that you know what you're saying, how you're saying it. Make it smooth. Make it easy so that you're very comfortable with it. Okay? Now, in addition to that, have a few fashion tips handy. It all comes in the little things, right? Ladies come to your show because they want to pick up some information from you, right? So even if they're not going to buy jewelry, which most of them do, but even if they're not, I want to have some fashion tips that leave them wanting more, that maybe want me to come into their home and share with their friends. So right now through the holidays and into the new year, I share some fashion tips on how to look thinner in your holiday pictures, how to look thinner coming into the new year. I always use my little line, why exercise girls when you can accessorize, woohoo, right? We want to leave them wanting more. So right now I'm gonna share my three tips with you. You can do a little more research on these on your own. I'm just gonna share with you what I share. Um, one, three quarter length sleeves will instantaneously take about six inches off of your widest part. Two, we all know this, and I train you on this as you go, long lean necklaces are gonna draw the eye inward and camouflage all that stuff going on outside in this region. Number three, a large earring is gonna make your face appear smaller and a V-neck will pull it in as well and make your face feel smaller. You can do that with a V-neck shirt or if you have a rounded collar, use a pendant to pull it into a V and that's gonna give you a thinner face, okay? Um, 
these are great fashion tips that make you informative for your guests and make them want more from you, okay? That leads right into something that you're gonna hear me say all of the time. This is something that you'll want to do. You're gonna want to show yourself friendly, okay? You're gonna leave them wanting more, right? Because you show yourself friendly. Um, you're gonna want to have your stuff set up like we talked about before in plenty of time to meet them at the door, become friends with them. Um, you, I never talk to my guests like I'm their teacher or their instructor. When I have fashion tips and things like that for them, I talk to them like I'm their girlfriend, that we're out shopping and I gotta share with you the latest thing that I just heard that's gonna help you take off 10 pounds in 30 seconds. And that's how I talk to them. I treat them like they're a friend from the moment I walk into that hostess's home. Um, I personally would much more likely book a show if I'm at a show with a consultant that I liked and that I feel a connection to than someone who instructed me on what to do and how should I look in a way that maybe made me feel inadequate. So I try very hard not to do that. I try to make it, here I am, your girlfriend, sharing you some great tips on what's gonna help you look and feel better as a woman and make myself very relatable. Girls, I make mistakes at my shows. I do anywhere from 75 to 100 shows a year when you include training shows and things like that in there. I make mistakes, but you know what? I laugh at myself. Everyone makes mistakes. So when they see you make a mistake and you laugh at yourself and you take it just easy as, you, as it comes, no big deal, um, they're gonna feel that connection with you again because you're not out of their league. You're exactly the same as they are. You make mistakes but you just laugh about it, you move on, and you do a great job, okay? So if you take yourself too seriously, no one's gonna wanna book a show with you. Have fun. Next, have a simple, straightforward booking activity like the dice game, which that's what I train all my new jewelers to do. So I don't know if all your mamas train you to do that one as well, but that is the simplest and easiest to get across. It's something that doesn't intimidate most jewelers and your guests understand it very easily. And it's fun, you wanna make it fun. You're gonna to wanna to sell the sizzle on your hostess gifts. And I use easy things. I will do maybe two different types of tennis bracelets right off of Premier Incentives. Um, and I sell the sizzle. I sell the fact that they're a hostess exclusive. You can't purchase this in the catalog. If you love this, the only way you can get this is having a few of your friends together for a little girl's night in, okay? So sell the sizzle on it. Don't let it get awkward ever, okay? I don't ever let them say no, they're not gonna book. Um, when I take my little dice tray around, I say, okay, go ahead and roll that dice. Let's see what you're gonna get, okay? And if they say they don't wanna roll, then I make them shout out that they love to pay full price for their jewelry. Ah, nobody wants to say that. So they have to jump up and shout out, I love to pay full price for my jewelry, which means I don't wanna book a show. But then I always say, why don't you go ahead and roll that dice and see what you would have got? And you know, sometimes if they get something that they really wanted, they're gonna be more likely to book. But if you get them rolling, whether they want to or not really have a show, you're gonna get everybody in the room rolling and they're gonna play and they're gonna have so much fun, which in turn makes them love you and makes them want you to come into their home with their friends and book a show, okay? Simple. Now, finally, true booking success, ladies, comes at checkout. I cannot say that enough. True booking success comes at checkout. You must ask everyone at checkout if they'd like to book a show with you. Even if they don't roll or marked no on their guest survey, ask, always ask. And you know, I use the phrase, what do you think? I don't do yes or no's. I say, what do you think? And if you know me, you know that a lot of times my children now, <laughs> even when they're asking a question, my six-year-old will say, so why don't we have some cookies? Mom, what do you think? So this has kind of transitioned into my everyday life. Honey, the living room means vacuumed. What do you think? And then I'm gonna find out what he thinks, right? Let's talk about this a little bit more. Okay, I noticed, lady, whoever, Susie Hostess, Susie uh, Guest, I noticed you loved several necklaces over there that you didn't get tonight. Now remember, this is at checkout when you're going through their ticket. Um, you know my hostesses usually get $250 to $350 in free jewelry just for having a few of their friends together. You know, you could get those necklaces that you loved and several other pieces all for free. What do you think? At this point, girls, 
Susie customer is going to tell you what she thinks, okay? Why she originally maybe said no or didn't roll your dice. She may say something like, well, we're remodeling our home right now, so I could never have anyone over. Now that's an easy fix for a jewelry lady. You're gonna simply say, you know, I do all kinds of different shows. I do bling and burritos. I do java and jewelry. Those are at your local Mexican restaurants or at your favorite Starbucks or little coffee house or something like that. Um, you don't even have to open up your home. Just invite your friends together at a restaurant. You get all the free jewelry for it and you girls have a ton of fun and a little girls night out. What do you think? Now let's back it up a second. If you would have simply said, so, Susie customer, if you what why don't you have a show? Do you think you'd like to have a show and get some free jewelry? That right there is a yes or no question. Well, in her mind, she's thinking, well, I can't have a show. I can't have people over right now because I'm remodeling my home. So all she's gonna say is no. Well, you cannot rebut no. But if you say, what do you think? She's gonna tell you why she doesn't feel like she could have a show right now. But you can let her know all the options and that's gonna help her know she can have a show whether she's remodeling her home or not, okay? There's a lot of different, those rebuttals that you can pick up from all different types of things that ladies are gonna have. And if you want a list of those, I've got a great list that I can give you to kind of help you overcome those so that you know what you can say to help them book a show because everybody wants free jewelry every lady and so we want to make sure that they can get that okay now um, in addition to that girls you have to come o overcome that fear and ask every single person this is going to increase your bookings in a huge way I'm telling you when I first started I didn't want to ask I thought, no 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 she said no that means no you know there's no getting around that but a lot of times it is because they don't know the options that you have so you know you want to make sure that you're asking every lady you're doing a disservice to your customers if you're not asking them never feel like you are doing them but they're doing you a favor by booking a show. Girls, we're doing them a favor. We are giving them so much free jewelry. We're helping them maybe get their Christmas for free. We're helping them update their wardrobe with no cost to them at all. And we're sharing fashion tips with their guests that are really gonna help them. So never come with the mindset that they're doing you a favor by booking a show. You're doing them a favor. So you wanna make sure that you don't do them an injustice by not asking them. So ask every single lady and if I can ingrain anything in your mind what do you think what do you think that is a very very important term to remember always use what do you think and always show yourself friendly be ready to serve be ready to touch lives and share um, in a way that uh, only we as premier jewelry ladies can so make sure that you go out and do all those little things that you make yourself different set yourself apart from any other company out there because we are premier and you represent premier and um, you're going to get bookings every time by doing those simple little things okay now that's all that i have for you girls today i gotta run outside and check on my uh tor little tornadoes my three little boys out there and make sure that nobody is doing anything they shouldn't be doing which i highly doubt um <laughs> but just a quick little training for you girls on the basics that are going to get you bookings every time so go out there my dazzling divas go out there and get them girls i love you all and i hope you're having just a fantastic week